Good evening. An elderly woman trapped in her home by a raging fire is in intensive care tonight. The fire broke out minutes before 1 o'clock this morning on Pohakupuna Road in Eva Beach. KITV4's Shane Enright joins us live with more. Shane, what do fire officials say started the blaze? Well, Pamela, officials are still determining a cause, but the victim's son says a lit cigarette may be to blame. As the flames burned through the wooden two-bedroom home, residents ran to help, fearing the fire trapped their neighbor, Judith Domingo, inside. And we saw it explode in flames, and I told my husband, I said, Judy's house is on fire. And they came running around, and then one of the neighbors came, he came from over there, and then they had the hoses going. My husband turned off the electric. Not knowing if the elderly woman was safe, Stacy Horiuchi used a fire extinguisher to shoot back flames. We sprayed the stuff through the window. The other neighbor, we had kicked the door and everything, but we couldn't, it was so toxic and everything, we couldn't get in. Patrick Domingo arrived home from work minutes after the fire had torn through his home. We had an ambulance and the fire department and the police. Unable to escape, firefighters found Domingo's 70-year-old mother unconscious in a bedroom with a ladder nearby. A little ladder, maybe she was trying to get out from the window there. But maybe she couldn't make it, so she... Then we pass out on the bed. She suffered burns over the majority of her body and was taken to the hospital in critical condition. She always comes out, sits on the beach. She's just a really nice little old lady. That I, I hope she's okay. Her family says she is also a loving grandmother who enjoys playing crossword puzzles while smoking an occasional cigarette. Domingo says a lit cigarette may have ignited the blaze. Yeah, I investigated said maybe she would make sure was. Smoking, she forget to, to forget pull it out. The Eva Beach Fire Station is located less than a half a mile away from the Domingo's home. A fire spokesperson says firefighters were at the home within three minutes of the first 911 call. Domingo says he planned to return to the hospital tonight to be with his mother. Just have to wait, pray that you come on again. Patrick's sister lives on the mainland and is making arrangements to fly here. Fire officials expect to have an exact cause of the fire by tomorrow. Pamela.